What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my 2024 fishing setup. Um, right now I only have one bait caster with me though. I would normally have about three. But um, anyways, right now my finger's hurting because I just got hooked really bad um, with a crankbait. But anyways, yeah. Okay, so first reel, we're start, rod and reel we're starting off with, if I can get it untangled, it is this rod right here. So right here I have this Abby Garcia Max Rod. It's the Abby Garcia Max Rod. I really like it. It look, it pairs really good with a black Max reel. This reel is 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. I've got 15 pound mono since I'm not I'm not I don't have enough money to buy fluorocarbon. Um but yeah, I have this Chopo which was $12. Absolutely ruined my wallet. But I um, mean anyways, yeah, 15 pound floor uh, mono, and uh, yeah, seven foot medium heavy rod. Really like it. Um, I've had this rod for about three years, and the reel for about five months now. Well, no. Well, yeah, about five months because um, I got it off of Eli from Keeping It Southern. Go make sure to subscribe to his channel. He's on his way to 200 subscribers. So, yeah. Next up, I have this little ultralight right here. My papa actually gave me this and the reel. Um, for the reel, I've got a Shakespeare. It's like a little, uh, what's the reel for? The reel was for the, um, y'all can't see my face. But the reel was for a, um, I can't remember the name. Dang. Oh, the ugly stick rod. Yeah. Um, I've got six pound mono on here. Um, and then this rod's like five foot and it's an ultralight. Um, but anyways, moving on to the next rod right here. This rod right here is a seven foot medium. I think, is it medium heavy or medium? I, it doesn't say, but it's a dial with shock, seven foot medium. I'm gonna say, doesn't say on it what it is. I've got it paired up with ten pound braid, and uh, right now I have this chatterbait on it. Don't ask why. Probably couldn't set the hook in it anyways. But um, yeah, seven foot medium. Really like it. Not real sure what the gear ratio is. Bought it for twenty five dollars at Dunham's, and it's really good. Eli bought one too. We actually made a video. Go check that out. I'll put that video. Well, y'all see it. It's like the last fishing video I've done. Next, you probably couldn't guess. Got a six piece on this rod. Some 10 pound mono on this reel. But yeah, six piece rod. Um, not fished with it yet. But um, yeah. Anyways, let's get into the tackle stuff now. Now, I have a lot. This bag's about... 20 pounds, no cap, like, not, no joke, it's almost like 20 pounds. Okay, so first we have this KG tackle box right here, um, got all the latches on it, and, uh, this is my crankbait box. We got all my most vib vibrant, uh, crankbaits up here, then I got, like, my deep diving, well, and pretty much just all my bigger crankbaits right here, then smaller, and most of those are deep divers. And then down here we have rattle traps. Well, not rattle traps. Lipless and a rattle trap. We have just some deeper diving baits. But um, yeah, I really like this box. Um, it's like a bigger. It's like a pretty big box. I don't really know other than that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Got the smallmouth and the catchco. All this catchco stuff. MTB catchco KG right there and a Yeti. But, um, yeah, really like this box. I have another one right here full of pretty much the same stuff. This one has Savage Gear right there and Yeti and KG again. These KG boxes are amazing. But, yeah, this is all my stick bait stuff. It's got my poppers. This is top water down here. Jerk baits. And then some, uh, like, bad shads. Pretty much, like, little shad wraps. The flicker shad right there but yeah 
stuff like that. Um, just shad wraps, um, jerk bait, stuff like that. Everything stick bait, pretty much, in this box right here. Um, then down here, I've got a ton of crankbait stuff. Got this very small box with like smaller stuff, got small swim baits and little beetle spin, smaller crankbaits, stuff like that. Stuff that's good for creep. Then in here, you can see through it, it's got a buzz bait and a frog, and then some like the stuff that you put, like the spacers for the stuff. But um, the bag that is the KG hunting bag. I thought it was really good for, you know, fishing because I can put a bunch of stuff. Got my scale over here. Got that six piece rod. Um, and over here, I got an extra reel and some scent. Then up here, clipped on a carabiner. I've got some power bait stuff that I can just clip to a carabiner. Um, then inside, I got terminal tackle, which I'm not going to go through that because that just makes the video longer. It's pretty much just all my hooks and everything. Um, great camera job from me. Here's my jigs and everything. Jigs and chatter baits and trailers for that. Got some hair jigs. Like, the, whatever for the chatter bait. Like, just seriously, j the jig head for the chatter bait. Got some underspins. Got all this stuff. Bunch of chatter baits and jigs. And I actually got these from right there close to Kendall Gray Badwoods. Got that from over there. Love going over there. Really fun going to Bad Woods. But, um, yeah, here's a Guggen Squad grass jig in red. But, um, yeah, we got some of the Catch Co. baits. I forgot what those are called. Like, I wanted to say Sleeper Crawl, but it's not called the Sleeper Crawl. Then back in here further, we got this big old swim bait reel. I don't even know why I have this. Don't ask. I have a big hand. Like, look, hand is as big as my head, and I got a big head. And, uh, yeah. That, <laughs> this is bigger, th the handle right here is bigger than the reel. I, I'm horrible at filming, though. So, yeah. For some reason, though. Oh, yeah, it's got clicking drag. Dang it, I cannot get a good shot yeah i got clicking drag this is probably very boring and then back here we got the off-brand pit vipers back here the whole snakes if you will and then that's pretty much it so yeah everything goes down in here sorry for the horrible camera job um but that's it for like rods and reels and everything but I will go in there and I have like 20 something more rods in, over there and I'll just show you those. I'm not going to go into specs. I'll just show them to you. But yeah. Okay. We're walking over here right now. Got everything put up. Didn't get a hook in my hand. Thankfully. Um. But yeah. This is it. Got me a bunch of nets now. Let me just show you. It's a lot of rods. Um, here, if you've seen the short, here's the um, Garcia, well, the Mitchell Garcia. Listen to it. Listen. Still has like the clicking drag and everything. It's pretty cool. Well, not drag. Listen. I just, I love just reeling it. It sounds so cool. Well, to me, I don't know about y'all. But the bad thing, this is a Johnny Johnny Walker rod. And watch how front heavy it is. It just falls straight down. I'm pretty sure it's actually aluminum. But then right here, if I hold it like right here, it actually kind of wants to tip back. The reel weighs nothing, though. Well, for an old reel. Like, if you feel some of the old reels compared to this one, this one seriously feels like nothing. Like... It might be like, I don't know, maybe three ounces, no joke. It weighs absolutely nothing. I don't really want to throw it much, but yeah, it's got like, it's really weird how it is. 
But he, me and my papa actually worked on it. It used to not do this. It would just reel without this coming down. But now it does. You can change it to no anti-reverse bearings. You can change it to where there is. No, it can't go back. Like, honestly, I'm not going to fish with it. I would seriously, like, get hated for it. I mean, should I? This video gets, hold on, 100 likes. I'll go fishing with this. That's a lot for me. Well, I've never had a long video to get 100 likes. So, if we can, if we can get 100 likes on this video, I'll go fishing with this 80 year old reel. This is about, well, this is seven times my age. That's insane, brother. Yeah, I mean, I'm like, thir I'm 13 almost. Well, almost 13. And, uh, dude, I forgot to get all my jerk baits out. Here's more. Sorry, I woke up. Camera thing. Here's even more. Dirt baits and stuff. It's crazy. But, um, yeah. My friend Luke Weathel's calling. Um, so, yeah. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. Give me up to 100 likes if you want to see me fish with that 80-year-old reel. And, uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.